All right, so I've been seeing here and there some people asking me to try out Elaine with a Festival at the end to see if her healing would work with her or help her in a way. Because one of my big complaints about the end, as of a few of the complaints I have of her, is that she seems to take a lot of damage for a tank. Um, and so this might help having her with the instant heal that Elaine provides. So we'll see how this goes. Basically, I'm using the end's best team, but instead of using like Melascula, which would be the end's best team, the Melascula here, and then you're hoping that you face Keo. <laughs> Um, or Valenti as well, then you just don't have to hope that you face Kiel, but if you do face Kiel, you're gonna be much worse than if you had Melascula. Um, basically replacing one of those for the uh, Elaine, so we got the instant heal. Now here, we got a situation where we do have the opportunity to push the ult for Elaine, and it will. Elaine's ultimate isn't the worst. It's definitely not the best, but I, I can actually also at the same time here, seal the Margaret from popping in a, a uh, increased damage or damage reduction. So that's also very helpful. We're gonna get the instant heal. Yeah, 9k, I mean, listen, it could save you. It really could, the instant heal could really save you. It's like, it's like reverse lifesteal, right? Uh, it could really save you. So I think that's a good ability. I hope more characters end up uh, getting this. So we're gonna pop in, um, We're gonna pop in the shield, just in case. Attack with King, ult with Elaine. That's gonna proc shock, uh, so Elaine's ult will hit a little, a little bit harder. All right, the increase in the HP, as you can see, got replaced by the end's increase in HP. You can't have uh, a buff and a stance of the same buff. For example, here you can already tell uh, the buff, the, the HP increase that Elaine provides got replaced, which is fine. That's the same thing that happens with King. When you have, um, not King, sorry. Um, when you have Margaret plus a stance character that increases damage. I'm trying to think of um, the stance character that increases damage. Is it Terry? Yeah, Terry. Terry increases damage with his stance, right? I haven't used Terry in a while. <laughs> I face Terrys all the time, I just haven't used them in a while. Um, if you use Margaret's blue card and you use Terry's stance, uh, the stance replaces the blue card. Or whichever one's bigger, I think, replaces. So we're just gonna triple deck with King here. You're still kind of ult rushing. Um, mm, do I kill Melly here? No, I should have gone for taking off the ultimate gauge. Okay, I did kill, luckily. If I didn't have the Holy Relic, I actually <laughs> wouldn't kill. Alright. We got another Margaret. Which I find interesting. Another person for me to see you with a lane. Or not. Gaffer. Again. A lane seal will be pretty helpful here. We can push the end's ultimate. Mm, very unlikely for him to kill me here. And I'll prevent him from pushing ult with the Meliodas. Very unlikely, only because he's gonna have start start off from zero, right? He's gonna start off from zero buffs on Meliodas. See, I want to go first because of the the buff or whatever, but <laughs> actually, I kind of like the Elaine, even though like I, I'm probably not gonna pop in the blue card every turn, every time or anything like that. I kind of like that Elaine's replacing either Valencia or, or Melascula here. Because uh, Elaine's ultimate is actually good. Let's do this. Elaine's ultimate is actually good. Like, it, it, uh, mine is 5 6. Um, and at 5 6, I'm, I'm hitting pretty hard. I hit pretty hard in the last match. If, so long as I apply the shock, which again, she does more damage if the enemies have shock on. I feel like I can almost team wipe. I'm definitely not gonna team wipe every time or anything like that, but I can almost team wipe, especially if I get like really good shock off, because um, her ultimate has release. So release is the same card as uh, OG Fast King, where he he as soon as he attacks someone that has either shock, uh, poison, or bleed, he 
inflicts 100% of that bleed on top of the damage. So if it's really good shock, you know, coming from King or, or anything like that, the ult will hit pretty hard. So if I attack with King like right after the ult, I'm gonna get a damage increase from King. Plus I'm gonna have the shock activated. Plus I'm gonna have the damage increases from her own passive and holy relic. So her ultimate is pretty good in that sense. So it does make me kind of want to go second, actually, with this team. But again, the, the kind of the purpose was to be able to use the blue card, right? So I can um, I can use the blue card so, can, so the DN actually gets the heal off. But it's fine how it's working. I kind of want to go second, though. Either using ult food or dodge food. Probably dodge food. Um, so I can get the extra ultimate gauge. So I can leverage my ultimate a little bit better here. Although, so long as I have Merlin, the fact that all my characters actually have decent cards is actually kind of good. Because, you know, regardless of who I get here, the extra card, like, let's say I get an extra lane card here. Which I didn't, but, like, ch choosing to combine the lane cards and double using it, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's definitely good. Um... I kind of like this setup much more than I actually expected, but again, I, <laughs> I'm i not using the whole premise of the video. I'm not actually using her blue card so that the end can tank better. I'm just basically ult rushing with the team, which is fine, because even if I don't ult rush, King combined with El Elaine gets so much DPS that I can sort of like, you know, Choose to go either way. It actually is crazy to me that this Elaine is actually good. Like, <laughs> I expected her to be dog shit. <laughs> She's actually good, you know? That's crazy. That's crazy. They made a good Elaine character. Congrats to, to uh, Mr. Net Marble. See, here, because it's the first turn, I really don't have to worry too much about him killing my DN or anything like that. Should have attacked someone else. I actually, I attacked, I attacked Coffer just, I don't know, it's type advantage, I don't know. But, you know, DN at max ultimate gauge, her attack cards actually hit decently hard. Like, this is, you know, DN at her, at her minimum. No passive whatsoever. And as you can see, my enemies are getting pretty scared of me because they keep quitting. Unbelievable. Oh, here I'll actually be better with my last clip. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, the blue card here. I'm hoping that we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna use the card. I'm hoping that we're gonna be fine. We're gonna have the... Because, the, like, yeah, because regardless of who I'm getting here, right? Like, either I get the taunt to use in the first turn, which will grant me, like, a lot, right? Because I'm gonna be able to just... Uh, to just tank pretty well with the extra HP already. Or I'm gonna get an extra king card, which will get me the shield, right? Or I'm gonna get the the heal. Look, look at that heal on King. 22k heal just like that. Because I got level 2 this time around. Level 2 blue card. So regardless of what card I'm getting, I'm actually getting a good card anyways. This is not bad, like, because I felt like the the team I was running with the DN, right, with Melascular Valencia was very wonky. Because if you get an extra Melascular card or an extra uh, Valencia card, you just got cocked. And, and that's it, like, not much you can do there. But here there's a fighting chance regardless, although I would say this is ult rushing, like, the, I, I am getting some turns here where King is doing some work with just his cards, but for the most part... I rely on my ultimate doing a lot of damage, so I just cannot recommend people actually running a team like this. Because for m most people, I hope that you haven't actually spent money in this game pulling for DN, right? Like, you know, if you did, that is your choice, I'm not your dad. Uh, but I, I, I think that, you know, especially with Origin coming out, it's uh, best to maybe chill out, you know? And just wait, see how it goes. Um, and, you know, if you don't have the N66, it's like, her ultimate just kind of sucks, you know? Her ult my ultimate is gonna one-shot them. My DN ultimate is gonna one-shot them. Every time, almost. Uh, but at 1-6, no. <laughs> her ultimate sucks at 1-6, so... 
that's a that's a, a big flaw that they have with this DN unit that I don't understand why they decided to do. It's just a significant flaw. It's just not even like it's not even funny. Like it's just it's just a terrible flaw of the unit that her ultimate one six sucks. Like King, his ultimate does get obviously better, you know, with her with his higher ult level, obviously, but it's not that much of a dra of a significance. In comparison, again, it, it does get better, but I don't rely on King's uh, ability as much as DN relies on hers. If you, you, if that makes any sense, right? DN's extra damage per stance getting so much stronger with her ult level is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Like King again, he obviously you're not gonna one shot every time if you don't have him anything above one six, but. He can still do work regardless. That shock was quite nice for breaking the shield. So let's do this. Proc the shock in first. Attacked with uh, King twice just in case. The first wouldn't break the shield, but there was a good chance it would. I kind of like this team much more than with Melasculate. You know, I'm not a big fan of using ult rush teams when one of your characters if you get the extra card for them, you lost the match. And that's basically what happened with Melaska. Like, if I if I got an extra Melaska card, and that was it for me to actually be able to get the ult, because, like, you know, for the most part, she's not even killing people <laughs> with her ult. Like, she just isn't. Let's do this. Uh, the end taking off. See, a lot of people criticized Gaffer when he got the ability to take off ultimate gauge only at 4 ultimate gauge and above. But that's just an extra, right? The ability is that he does more that this card does more damage the more ultimate gauge you have. And taking off the ultimate gauge is an extra. Like right there, having the extra was huge. Right? I still would have been fine because I had King Shield, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna get the king the kill off. Um if I have more stamina, I'll keep playing, but I think that's enough showing. It's an interesting combo. I mean, again, the inherent flaw of the end's ultimate being so bad, unless she's 6 6, really compromises with running a team like this, but I'm just actually so impressed that Elaine, out of all character releases, is good. <laughs> It's crazy to me. <laughs>